Now, you're going to stay here and you're going to get brushed. In March of 2009, the administration decided, with the financial institutions stabilizing, to use some of the TARP stash to focus on other trouble spots in the economy, like foreclosures. 2.8 million in 2009, with 2010 on track for a 16% increase over that. Making homes affordable is comprised of four programs so far. There's HAMP, Home Affordable Modification Program. There is uh, Home Price Decline Protection Program. Uh, second Lien Modification Program. And Home Affordable uh, Foreclosure Alternatives. Now, in some of these programs, there's actually very little taxpayer money going out the door. There's a uh, modest incentive payment paid to the lender to forbear or to reduce the monthly payment for a little while, especially if there's a situation involving unemployment. But the borrower is still on the hook for all the principal and all the interest. But in most of the other programs, the taxpayer is helping out. Uh, for example, the, uh, the government matches the haircut that the lender takes to get the payment to a quote-unquote affordable level, meaning 31% debt-to-income ratio. And also, the government is helping out with principal forgiveness um, if the borrower stays current for a three-year timetable. Now, all of this sounds great, especially if you are facing foreclosure, but SIGTARP, the Special in Inspector General for TARP, didn't really think so. Uh, two audits have been done so far, and the first one found that, you know, Treasury wasn't doing enough permanent modifications. They were just doing sort of temporary things, and they weren't doing that many of them. Uh, misleading or confusing directives from Treasury not enough documentation required from the borrower. They were taking verbal confirmation of income. And up until recently, nothing to address the most serious problem out there, negative equity. Now, since then, Treasury has made some improvements, but the most recent audit, SIGTARP still said that it was pretty loosey-goosey, not enough uh, protections against fraud or conflict of interest. Now, I must say, I'm not really that bothered that these programs aren't working so well. I understand that a lot of foreclosures can destroy a neighborhood, even for people who kept current on their payments. But foreclosures, foreclosures are really concentrated in about four states, and those states benefited from the huge run-up in property values. I also think these programs send a bureaucratic bat signal that says dependency on the government is okay, the government will fix all of your problems, um, that could be a lot of problems. And where is it written that I have to protect your home value or keep you in a home that you can no longer afford? Oh wait, it is written. It's written in the Emergency Economic Stabilization Act of 2008, Section 2, Part 2A, Home Values. Eh.